guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you all are well. So I'm actually up north right now. I've come to visit my dad in Scarborough and guess where I am? We are both at Strawberry Fields car boot sale in Bridlington. So this car boot sale is open every Tuesday, Thursday and bank holiday Monday. So it's a Tuesday right now and my dad is actually selling at this car boot sale. So I've just got here. I'm gonna go help him set up his stall and help him sell. And I'm also gonna walk around and see what sort of bits and bobs they've got. It'll be interesting to see the difference between here and and going to car boots in London. I've had a look at the Strawberry Fields website on my phone and you know what? It looks like they have really good reviews as well. Like it's got 4.3 stars overall and 515 reviews. So pretty good rating as well. So I'm really excited to just walk around and see what sort of stuff I'm gonna find. I'll also do a little haul for you guys to show you the stuff that I've got and how much I paid for them. So stay tuned. It's so windy and I can't believe like like the weather difference between up north and in London. Someone's looking at me talk to the camera, I'm shopping. But yeah, it's like I've got a jacket on and it's just so windy and I'm actually like pretty chilly, you know? But down in London, it's just a lot warmer than it is here. Lola's getting really excited, just smelling all the like farm smells. <laughs> but he's not here so I'm not sure where he's gone he's probably just walked around looking for some bargains so I'm just gonna wait here until he gets back so I just saw a guy that was like looking at our stall and he found some Doc Martens some men's ones I think they were like a size 10 for two quid I was like you've got yourself something good there and he was like really really pleased so I don't blame him I'm actually like jealous because I could have got them for like Harry or something but yeah fair enough on the guy Doc Martens for two quid <laughs> Boneless, porky chops, your minted lamb, joints of beef. Anybody else fancy a barbecue mix today? Give us a ten or. A few more bits and bobs here. I also found these like the gorillas converses, which are quite cool. They're size nine. <gasps> so I'm back in the car now, and it's so hot. It is. 12 o'clock and pretty much everyone is like packing away. My dad started packing at about quarter to 12. Pretty good car boot. I personally didn't find as many clothes as I would have liked to. I've only been here once, so that's just the experience from this one time today. My dad did say that this car boot is a lot smaller than it usually is. And he also said that on a Thursday, this car boot is actually a lot bigger. So we'll probably come back on Thursday and I'll do another vlog and show you guys what it's like then. <laughs> I feel like there was lots of dog stuff. Like there was loads of like dog collars, dog leads, like even stalls had loads of like dog stuff. But unfortunately, a lot of the dog stuff was too small for Lola. Another positive side of this car boot is that people were just so, so, so friendly. And Lola got loads of attention as well. You know, like Apscourt Farm has like really good vibes. This place has really good vibes as well. Just like everyone's chatting to each other, having a conversation, having a laugh. It's just fun and friendly. But anyway, I'm gonna do a haul now and show you guys what I got. All right, so I'm back at home now and it's a couple days later and I've washed all the clothes and I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I got. So my first item are these baggy skater styled black 
jeans. I thought these looked pretty cool. And I can actually see myself wearing these as well. The only downside is that they're a size UK 12, waist 32, which is slightly too big for me. So even though they're baggy, they're even baggier on me. I also like that they come with this like shoelace string sort of thing. And I think it gives that like skater chick look as well. Cause like I've also seen on Instagram, like a lot of pictures of girls wearing like baggy trousers with like shoelace tied around them. I don't know if that's what's in style right now, but I've seen a lot of pictures like that. As you can see, they're just like, they're really baggy. Like the bottom bit is probably like wider than the waist, you know? So that's the bottom bit and that's the waist. Okay. I paid four pounds for these from a dealer at the car boot sale. Basically he told me he gets loads of clothes posted to him from warehouses like Topshop or H&M, Zara, etc. So they're basically new. Just a shame really that they're just a little bit too big for me. If they were my size, I would be keeping these for me. But because they're that little bit too big, I'm gonna bang them on Depop or eBay and just see how much I get for them. Next, I also got these flared light blue corduroy trousers. I got these because I also liked that they're quite baggy as well and they just looked quite cool, you know, and I just like that corduroy texture on them as well. I paid three pounds for these ones from the same guy. I also want to keep these ones as well, but unfortunately they're a size UK six, so they're pretty tight on me, which is such a shame. Like, I wish these were my size, but I'm just gonna bang these on Depop as well and see how much I get. These are also pretty much new. Like, it also has like this black string on here. They've not been worn yet. And they're also from Topshop. It's the newer logo as well, but they've just like crossed it off. But yes, very happy with these jeans. It's just a shame they don't fit me. So next, I'm on my third item now. I got these Converse's. So these are actually the Gorillas styled Converse's, if you can see here. I thought these looked really cool when I found them. And I was actually thinking to get these for Harry because me and Harry are proper obsessed with the Gorillas. Like we even went to go see him back in 2018 at the O2 and it was so, so, so good. And then to find the shoes, I was like, yes, perfect for Harry. But I looked at the size and they're size UK9, which is unfortunately also too small for Harry. <laughs> I'm gonna be whacking these on Depop and I'll see how much I get for these. They're also in pretty good condition. There's a bit of wear on the soles, but they've still got loads of wear. Left. And it's just cool because you can see like it's just got like the gorillas sign there and on the inside It's got artwork 2011. So I assume these shoes are from like 2011 I paid three pounds for these which is pretty standard for a pair of Converse's at the car boot and I'm really happy with this find My next item is this scale <laughs> So I have been looking for a scale for quite a while because like I've had a look on eBay and they're like I don't know like 20 quid or summer and I was just like I bet I can find one at the car boot You know so I don't need to actually pay like 20 pounds for a scale But to be fair, I've been looking for a scale since like when was it since like January, May June? since like June and I finally found a scale. And the reason why I'm looking for a scale is I sell stuff online. So it's been quite tricky for me to like guess the weight of some of my parcels before sending them. What I've been doing is like, I've been standing on like the human scale or whatever they're called, the scales. And then I've been like weighing myself and then I hold the parcel and then I stand on the scale holding the parcel and then just estimate how much the parcels weigh from my weight and the parcel weight on top, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's really quite accurate, but it worked for me for those like few months of selling stuff online. But now I've got a scale. And you know what? I actually really like that it's like an analog scale as well. So when you open it, it's like this. I can actually just put my parcel straight on top like that, or I've got like this little thing so I can put stuff on like that. And I don't need to put any batteries in it, so. It'll do for now. And it goes up to five kilograms. So you can't go wrong with that, really. I paid two pounds for this, and the lady told me it's brand new. She's never used it. On the box, it says that it's eight pounds 99 new. So I saved a few quid by getting the scale. So really pleased with this item. Next, I got this ASOS size M windbreaker. It's in really good condition as well. I think it's like hardly been worn. I actually wore this to the car boot today, and it was really, really cozy and warm, and it was quite rainy at the car boot. So I might even and keep this or if Harry wants it he can have it. If not I'm gonna pop it on Depop and see how much I get for it there. I just think it's got some pretty cool patterns on it you know. I like this sort of pattern on a jacket. So yeah quite pleased with that one. I paid two pounds for that in case I didn't say. I can't remember. <laughs> My next item is this Marks and Spencer leather belt. I paid one pound 
to this belt. It is pretty old, I've got to say. Like, you can see some of the leather is, like, coming off a little bit. But I thought to myself, it was only one pound, and I'm actually going to keep this for me because it's quite big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of it off and punch a few new holes in it. So I'll probably cut it to like, if you can see here or something and see how it turns out really. For me, I think it's just like a little experiment for myself. I only paid one pound for it. So if it fails, I've only lost a quid. And if I like it, then I've got myself a new belt. So next, I got a load of dog stuff for Lola. I got this like huge dog bone like that. I paid three pounds for that dog bone. And I also got a knuckle as well. And I paid one pound for that knuckle. Like I said, I feel like this card Boot had a lot of um, dog stuff. Now we're on to our last item. So my last item is this yellow jacket. It caught my eye from quite a way away and I saw it on the clothes hanger and I was like going towards it. But when I saw it, there was some like little marks on the back. There was like some just some little marks on here. So I was a bit like, mm. but the guy told me it was one pound. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try and see if I can get the marks off myself. For one pound, you can't really go wrong. Bought this for one pound, whacked it in the washing machine and all the marks are gone. Yay. I really like this jacket and I think it's a really nice fit as well. Just this like cute baby yellow color and then like this little red bit here. But yeah, it's very me jacket. Very pleased with this one. And that's all the items I got from the car boot on Tuesday. So yeah, that's my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you guys think to some of the items. Thank you for watching my video and give me a like if you liked it and a subscribe if you want to see any more and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut some of it <laughs> Another positive side. Oh my god, people are looking at me. Talk to the camera. I'm so shy. Okay, another positive side of this...